Hey guys, welcome back to the Woolen Homestead. This is episode 107 and today is April 26, 2022. My name is Tiffany and I'm coming to you from Midland, Michigan. Hello you guys, it's been like two months since I was on here and I'm so sorry for the, for the time in between but I'm really happy to be back. I've got um, my lab Benny up here with me. <laughs> so if you hear any noise, he is up here on the futon and he's just snoozing on the couch. So, um, and maybe Ella, our other lab um, mix may come up here as well. So how are you guys doing? I hope you're well. Um, I'm really, really excited to chat with you guys. I'm so excited about the projects that I've been working on that I got to show you. I'm going to start off with finished objects. So it's also what I'm wearing. This is the shawlography shawl. This was the Mystery Knit Along by Stephen West that was done in last October. And yeah, I love it. I did it in like a spooky yarn kind of theme. It just happened that I had these colors um, and that it was also, the Knit Along was also happening in October. So it kind of worked out perfectly. But um, I will show you guys what it looks like. And he does these, um, mystery knit alongs every year so they're super fun so I will show you guys how it turned out it's all blocked and everything so I'll show you I love this border I had a lot of fun doing that and these little I-cord loops in the middle kind of turned out cool in the end you can really see the colors from the first section up here post blocking um, before blocking they were kind of it's kind of all scrunched up but yeah I love it so yeah it's so fun um it's really wearable too I haven't worn it out yet um, mainly because the colors are Halloween <laughs> I just figure I will um, probably wear it more around the fall. Um, I definitely want to wear it when I pass out candy on Halloween. I just think that would be a lot of fun. But um, yeah, I'm really, really happy with the shape and everything. So super excited. Um, the colors, let's see, I can talk about the different yarns. So let's see, we'll start with this orange um, was good for you. This was like an alpaca wool blend. Um, this was North Cabin, which there was no colorway name for this. This was good for you as well, this purple. And then this black is a singles yarn. This is Madeline Tosh Light in Onyx. And then this was our yarn that we no longer dye, but it's the Woolen Homestead in Hagra Tappy Hour. Yes, that, that is my shawlography. It's done, completed. Oh, so happy. It feels good to have that done um, and off the needles. So super, super happy with that. Um, I used size US4 needles for this, and this was all in um, sock weight yarn. So yes. Um, I just realized I never said where you can find me either. So I'm going to go through that really quick. Um, you can find me on Instagram as the woolen homestead, um, if an email for the podcast, if you do have any questions about anything, um, it's the woolen homestead at gmail.com. And there's also a PO box, which you can find, um, any info about that in the drop down, uh, the info box here below this video. So that is, um, one of my works in, or one of my finished objects, another finished object, which I think I have a picture of, um, might not be like the perfect finished object picture, but I did finish a pair of socks that I gave to my mom. It was the, um, Sweet Sparrow Yarns, uh, tweed socks in the Sansa colorway. And I did 64 stitches size US one. And it was just a plain vanilla sock. And she said they fit great and that she loves them. I gave them to her when I saw her on Easter. So, Yes, I finished those. Um, and then I finished one more thing, but I forgot to grab it. So I'm going to go grab it real quick. Okay, so the last thing that I finished is the Oslo hat by Petite Knit. And this I knit for Ethan, 
who is my husband and it is one of our old colorways as well. It was a one of a kind, um, but it was called Riverstone. It's a DK weight yard. It was our Polworth DK weight, but it's, it's mostly gray, but you can kind of see there's just a little bit of almost like a green, greenish brown, but it's very, very subtle and it's really neat. Um, I just, I really like this. So yeah, it's basically just a, a beanie uh, with a folded brim and it, it's really a neat construction on how you do it. You can see how it ends up being like doubly folded. So super, super cozy and keep him warm during these Michigan winters. So yeah, I, if this flew off the needles, it's knit in a size four. Um, the hanks of yarn for this are I think 246 yards and I just had enough. It was a little bit of yarn chicken towards the end, um, but I did have enough, but it was, it was pretty close. So I thought I was going to have to stripe in on the crown, but I didn't. I'm going to use a size US four needle and let's see when oh, I knit the women's size. So I had seen, um, that this hat, like from other people that have knitted that the hat stretches out quite a bit. Um, so I didn't want it to be too, too oversized since it was super wash. Um, so that's why I knit the women's size and it seems to fit him just fine. It's a little snug on him, but I think, you know, with wearing, it's going to be just fine, but it's not too tight at all. So, so yeah, really, really happy with how this turned out. Um, so that is it for finished objects. I actually have three things. I can't believe it. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to move on to works in progress and I have quite a few. So I'm going to start off with my Brio Chevron blanket by Stephen West. I'm using size US 8 needles. And I recently just switched them. Um, I was using Addie's from my interchangeable set, uh, the Addie Clicks. And I kept getting my yarn snagged on the joint and it was just kind of driving me nuts. I just kept kind of putting up with it. Um, but it was really, really bugging me. So I switched them to Knit Picks Caspians and so far so good. It's been great. Um, I love my Addie Clicks, but for some reason on this project, it was just catching quite a bit. Um, but I'm using worsted weight scraps and DK scraps it's in this really sweet doggy project bag that my mother-in-law made me for Christmas one year. I love this bag. It's perfect for my blanket projects. And this blanket, I, I adore this blanket. I love brioche. And it's so fun to use up the scraps. It's really fun to use my um, hand spun in this. And with it being like worsted and DK, it's just so squishy and thick and glorious. So this stitch marker is where I was at last time. So not a ton of work, but a little bit for, you know, working on all my other projects. Not too bad. I do really want to get a decent amount done on this blanket because I've had it, I think I've had it on the needle since 2018. So I would like to give this some more love. But yeah, you can see I got a decent amount done on it. So this is the main color, um, like the, this is the right side and then the wrong side is all solids, solid scraps that I'm using. So yeah, I love it. I love it so much. So yeah, I really want to work on this now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, these are the, the needles, the Knit Picks Caspians. Really enjoy them. I, I love the wooden Knit Picks needles a lot. I think they're a lot of fun. But yeah, the hand spun in this looks really, really neat. That multicolor right here, this is hand spun. See this, this right here, that's hand spun. So yeah, loving this. Really want to work on it now. <laughs> oh, fun. 
So that is the Brio Chevron Blanket by Stephen West. And I started another Stephen West blanket just the other day. They're actually not even in this in these notes yet because I wrote these notes the other day. And I decided to cast on. So this is the Star Blanket by Stephen West as well. I am also using um, DK and Worsted Scraps for this as well. I did, however, decide to go with a color scheme. I'm doing grays and pinks, and I'm so excited. So excited about it. So I went through my Worsted Weight stash and just grabbed all the grays and pinks that I liked. And even there's kind of like some pinky purples too. But um, I just started... See if I can find a good picture of it too, what it looks like. So there, that is what the blanket looks like. So I'm starting with these parallelograms. And I've got, this is all I've got of one. So I've got my sweet little this is my Ella stitch marker progress keeper that Eden from the uh, Let's Get Kraken podcast made. And she uh, also has a shop called the Kraken Made. Um, I think it's called Kraken Made, M-A-I-D. So I will have her info in the drop down box below as well. And yeah, so just the beginnings of this. Um, these are... This is the color scheme that I'm doing for the parallelograms. And so this is both uh, Lamb's Pride worsted. So it's wool and mohair, 8515. It's worsted weight, it's a single ply. So excited. But I've got just a bunch of different pinks. So this is a, um, like a vintage yarn that my aunt gave me. So that's worsted weight. There's another one, two different types of pinks. Um, I've got this purple, like a Patton's Classic. There's another purple that I'm doing. And um, the grays, I've got a marled gray. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this one or not, uh, but most of the grays are pretty similar. Um, I do have, oh, I do have a dark gray too. But yeah, so kind of scrappy. Well, pretty scrappy actually, but um, but like I said, with a color scheme, and I'm so excited about it. Very, very excited. So that has also been super fun to start, and I can't wait to get all the parallelograms kind of put together and get it on a big circular needle and start to add to it. So, and see it come together. Um, let's see, I think I'm using size US seven needles for that. Almost certain. Yeah, I'm almost certain. I did size US 7s for that. So, yeah, that is my star blanket. Um, my next project is the City Limit sweater from uh, Tannis Fiber Arts. And this has been flying. So, I cast this on originally a couple years ago. I think in 2020, maybe. I think so. Um... And since then I have lost 80 pounds. And so I needed a smaller size, which is a great problem to have. And I wasn't very far. I had been originally, I think just past, just past the splitting of the arms. Um, so I undid it and recast on back in, I think February. I wanna say it was February. And um, this is using fingering weight held double. Um, size US six and eight needles. And yeah, so excited. The size that I'm knitting now, I think, is the 36. I think it's like 36.25, I think, is the, the size. So I think originally I had, I was doing the 40, 43. I can't remember all the different sizes that were on there, but. Let's see. Okay. So this is where I'm at now. So it's really, really grown um, since I since I recast on. 
Um, like I said, I was probably just about here when I ripped it out and then recast on. So, yes, I, I really, really love the color scheme and how the colors play together, how they fade. It just oh, it makes me so happy. So I'll show you guys the different yarns that I'm using. So my first color is a homespun house. And this is the Weekends at Hogsmeade colorway. This was a Harry Potter Club colorway. My second yarn is the Woolen Homestead in a one-of-a-kind pretty in pink colorway. Love that one. Then I'm using um, Peach Queen yarns. And this is... Uh, my little nut Meg, which is a Hercules Disney Hercules reference And then this is the woolen homestead in Moonlight Sonata And This is the woolen homestead in hoarfrost the color that I'm on now and this is let's see let me remember her shop name I think it's pixie dust yarns I believe so I believe it's pixie dust yarns and this was um the colorway galaxy <laughs> this poor cake <laughs> It's seen better days. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, really, really excited about this sweater. Um, the colors are just doing it for me. I They make me so happy. I think it'd be really fun to knit a pair of scrappy socks out of these colors. But, yeah, I love it so much, so much. Okay, so that is that, and that is also using Knit Picks um, needles as well. So next are the socks that I'm knitting. They are my purse socks. Um, it's Coloring Book Yarns in the Autumn and Mint colorway. It's in this adorable Disney Dogs bag from Freckled Whimsy. I love this fabric. And it's got a really neat like, rainbow zipper. So last time, I believe I was still on the first sock and I finished that. Yes, you can see where I was at last time. This is my little bookworm pet rack from Simply Serving. Love that charm. It's so cute. And that's where I was at last time. And since then, I have finished the entire sock. I just adore this color scheme. So fun. And I am trying the Crazy Sock Lady method where she uses the light bulb stitch markers and counts her rows. And yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Usually I measure. So it's been kind of nice, especially on the second foot, to not have to worry about measuring. I can just put in my stitch marker every 10 rounds and know that once I take it from the other one, I know right where I'm at. I don't know. It's, it's really neat. It's a really neat technique. And she has a whole video on it. If you're curious about it, um, on how to try that. And so this is the second sock and I am on the foot and yeah, really, really enjoying these. Um, I have been, knitting these primarily um well ethan he's been working on his um his harley out in the garage so i've just been hanging out with him and knitting on these socks and it's just been really enjoyable and last week we had a bonfire i knit on them then which it's funny because the the yarn really smells like campfire now <laughs> and um yeah it's super fun i'm using um size us1 signature needle arts and i love these needles so much so much 
Um, my little DPN cozy has little deer on it. And it's so cute. This is from ISO on Etsy. That. So yeah, really been enjoying these. They've been flying once I actually like started working on them again. I've been really, really loving them. And yeah, I'm enjoying that um, that method with the stitch markers. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna try another pair of socks too to see if I want to kind of primarily do it like that or just measure. I've always measured, so I'm super comfortable with that method too. Um, but this has been kind of fun too. So we'll see, see what I stick with. Um, my next project, which this is my last knitting project, is uh, my Ode to Autumn Shawl by Jennifer Rundhaug, who is the Driftless Knitter. She has the Driftless Knitting Podcast. And I have put a decent amount of work on this as well since last time. So this is a DK weight shawl which originally Jennifer and Ethan and I all collaborated on. Um, I don't remember what year it was. It was a couple of years ago though um, when we had our shop and um, we had dyed the yarn for um, for this shawl and it was um, in autumnal colors but I decided I wanted to do like a vintagey Christmas themed one. And so the little progress keeper here is where I was at last time. And that is um, a Sucre Sucre Miniatures progress keeper. This is uh, Gillyweed. That was from a homespun house, Harry Potter, um, charm and yarn set. And yeah, so I've gotten a decent amount done on this. The the green portion, um, this is our Professor Sprout colorway that we used to carry. This is held double, um, fingering held double. And then this is DK, our Polworth DK in the ruby colorway. And you can see it's got a little bit of lace up here. And then the green portion is this really fun cable pattern. And it's so pretty. And I've been um, being able to practice cabling without a cable needle during those. The green portion, it's been really, really fun. I really like cabling without a cable needle. <laughs> Big fan of that. <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm really excited about this shawl. I just think, I've, I've always wanted to have a Christmas shawl. I'm starting to notice the theme here, like holiday shawls. <laughs> I have my Halloween shawl and I have a Christmas shawl, so I'll have to start making like an Easter shawl and uh, maybe a Valentine's one. <laughs> but yeah, I'm I'm really really excited about this. It's nice and thick and snuggly and just super fun. So I'm hoping to have that done. I'm got a little bit left in the red portion, which I believe it's going to be about as big as this one is. So I'm almost done with that. And then there's just a little bit more of a green and then another little red strip. So, yeah, this should be done in no time. Super, super enjoyable. Um, let's see. Oh, and the needle size, nitpicks again in size US 6. So, yes. Love my Ode to Autumn shawl. Love it. So that is it for works in progress. Now I have a spinning work in progress. So my spinning project, I did start last time, um, but I did not work a ton on it since. Um, but then I think about two weeks ago, we, um, a bunch of us spinners took our wheels to our knit night and I got a ton of work done <laughs> when I was there. So that was really fun. Um, so this is Wound Up Fiber Art, and it's a one-of-a-kind colorway. It's so pretty. So this is my first bobbin. It's all done, and I did start my second one, but I did leave it on my wheel just for ease. <laughs> but um, it's super pretty. Um, I've got the fiber right here. So you can see what it looks like. So these are all the colors. 
yeah, I love it. It's, I believe it's 100% superwash merino. I have the tag right here. No, it's 90% superwash merino, 10% nylon, super sock. Yes, I am totally going to make socks with this, most likely. I love hand spun socks. Oh my gosh. Super fun. I made, um, I bought a scrappy sock bundle a couple of years ago from Wound Up Fiber Arts and spun that and knit socks with it as well. So much fun. So yes, they're so cozy and uh, the best. So yay. Oh, I didn't realize that had nylon in it. I'm really excited. <laughs> um, and I spin on an Ashford Kiwi too, which I love. Ethan got that for me from our uh, anniversary good couple of years ago now, which our anniversary is coming up on May 3rd, so a week from today. It'll be fun. And yeah, that is it for spinning. Um, I'm going to move on to acquisitions. So for acquisitions this week, I have a skein of Night Owl Fibers, and this is the Board Game Money colorway. And I saw this yarn on her website and just fell in love. I love these pastel colors. It's so springy. It's so cute. So definitely Monopoly inspired, but I just, I love the spring colors and it just made me happy. So that is Rachel um, based in Texas and her mom and and her do a podcast called the Night Owl Fibers Podcast, which I love to watch. So check them out if you have not. Um, it's really enjoyable. Um, and this is their Barn Owl Sock Base. So it's a 7525 Superwash Merino and Nylon. Yes. Love her self-striping yarn. I have one of her Christmas colorways as well. So, but I have not knit with it yet, but I, her colors are just so pretty. So I'm very excited to to knit those. Um, so that is it for acquisitions and now I'm going to move on to life stuff. Okay. So I'm going to try and do a quick recap, um, from the last time that I recorded, but honestly, I'm probably going to miss a ton of stuff <laughs> since it was so long ago. Um, but soon after my last episode, um, Ethan and I did go meet up with my family in St. Louis. Um, so it was my mom and my sister and my brother. And we um, went out to eat. We celebrated um, just getting together every year um, on the day that my father has passed. Um, we uh, always get together and just in memory of him and laugh and talk and just be together on that day. So we did that in February. And then... Um, the next week after that, my mom came to visit. So that was fun. We knitted and we watched um, we watched some knitting podcasts and oh, it was a lot of fun. And she did her um, English paper piecing and yeah, it was really, really nice. Um, then I think a little after that, I don't remember when it was, but we there was a knit-a-thon at the local yarn shop and um, that was really enjoyable. Went and stayed for a couple of hours and knitted and chatted with everybody, had some goodies and, uh, yeah, that was really fun. Um, over the last month or so, Ethan's been working on his Harley, like totally taking it apart and just overhauling it. Um, and that's been really fun to sit out there by the kerosene heater and keep him company and we chat and it's, it's fun. He can, he, he definitely says some colorful words when he uh, runs into some, uh, frustrations with going over his bike, which as one would expect, <laughs> but it's super, super fun. Really enjoyable. Like I said, I've been knitting on those socks and it's just great time to have together. So loving that. Um, I have been doing some decluttering, trying to just pare down some things and just some good spring cleaning. Um, it's just always good to go through that and organize and just get rid of stuff. So, um, still been going to knit night, uh, pretty much every Friday, every once in a while I can't go because of work and things, but, um, been enjoying that as well. Um, we went to my mom's 
on Easter Sunday. Got to see my sister and her family and their pug. <laughs> Oh, Miss Poppy. She's so cute. <laughs> but that was that was a lot of fun. Um, then I met up with my best friend, Stephanie, who's from Wisconsin. She's originally from here, so she'll come back and visit family. And um, her and her son were visiting um, her family for Easter, so I got to see her a little bit after that. We went to Barnes & Noble, and oh, it was so fun. Super fun. That was... Um, Something her and I would do a ton when we were in high school was go hang out at the bookstore, and so it was fun to to keep doing that. Um, let's see. Oh, last time, um, last podcast, I did a premiere after I um, got it all edited, and it was kind of a last minute thing, and it was a lot of fun. So thank you guys um, for checking that out if you were uh, part of the premiere. Um, basically, what it is is. The video gets uploaded and at a certain time, um, you guys can all come chat. We can like chat together and watch it together. So it's, it's really neat. Um, I would like to do that again for this episode. Um, it just kind of depends when I can get it edited and uploaded. Um, so I won't be able to say it'll be ready at a certain time, but I can at least post, um, you know, on Instagram and on Facebook um, when it will be up. And I can probably, if I can figure it out, I've never done it, but post here on YouTube as well as to when it will be uploaded. So I'm not gonna promise, but I think it would be kind of fun to try that again because um, it was really fun. Um, yeah, I think that is it. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are well. I'm really glad that I could do another episode. I feel so bad when I don't do it very frequently, but I know you guys don't mind and you're just happy to see it whenever. Um, so I do appreciate the patience that it's not super frequent, um, but I do really enjoy catching up with you guys and I appreciate all the comments. I'm so sorry I'm awful at replying to comments. I really want to get better at that. And I feel like I say that every time, but um, I really do appreciate them and I do read them all. So thank you guys so much. Um, I know last time you guys left me a lot of really good comments about um, how to reinforce um, my uh, the balls of the feet on my socks because I tend to wear those out. So thank you guys for that. Appreciate it. I will let you go and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.